I am pleased to announce that late yesterday, the FDA authorized for emergency use the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. This is the first COVID-19 vaccine to be authorized in the United States. The FDA is respected worldwide and is considered the gold standard regulator of medical products. We applied our high standards of review in reviewing this product so that Americans can have trust and confidence that the vaccine meets FDA's rigorous standards for safety and effectiveness. And with this authorization, we know that our federal partners are already moving to distribute the first doses of the vaccine throughout the country. The FDA's authorization for this vaccine is a significant milestone in battling a devastating pandemic that has affected so many families in the U.S. and around the world. Our action comes as we are near the end what has been truly a year unlike any other in modern times. While this year has been marked by tragedy, sadness, and sacrifice, it is also a year that has generated unparalleled scientific achievement that will resonate for many future generations. Scientific processes for medical product development, including vaccines, traditionally take years. What we have seen this year is a historic partnership among the private sector, academic researchers, and the federal government to find efficiencies in our scientific processes, as well as the dedication of time and energy toward a common goal which has led to the rapid development of truly innovative medical products. But let me be clear, efficiency does not mean any cutting of corners. Medical products are still undergoing rigorous study and clinical trials. Important safety checks remain in place. The FDA's review teams continue, as they have always done, to comb through the data submitted by companies regarding their medical products. What's different during COVID-19 is that developers, researchers, and regulators have found new and hopefully lasting ways to be dynamic and efficient. At the FDA, we have been applying a variety of resources and tools in our search for solutions and to support the nation's medical needs, which has led to this achievement. We found ways to cut the red tape and reduce regulatory burden on medical product sponsors when possible. One important tool we have used during this pandemic, including for this vaccine action, is the Emergency Use Authorization, or EUA, created by Congress specifically to provide us with the means to respond rapidly during a public health emergency. For an EUA to be issued, the FDA's career scientists conduct a rigorous evaluation of currently available scientific evidence about a medical product. The FDA must determine that the product's known and potential benefits outweigh its known and potential risks. For vaccines that have the potential to be given to millions of healthy Americans, we at the FDA have set high expectations. For yesterday's action on Pfizer BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine, the FDA's career scientists conducted a fast but incredibly thorough review of a complex EUA request involving manufacturing data, quality control data, safety data, effectiveness data, and more. Our career staff, scientists and staff have been working around the clock, including holidays, weekends, and late nights, to swiftly do this evaluation that meets our globally recognized high standards for review. I know the meticulousness of the review that the FDA has done. I will absolutely take this COVID-19 vaccine pending availability and distribution because I have complete trust and confidence in the FDA's career staff's evaluation. To ensure all Americans can have trust and confidence in the carefulness of the FDA's review, we have made this review process as transparent as possible. We held a public advisory committee on Thursday about the Pfizer BioNTech application. The advisory committee cons consists of external experts who reviewed clinical data from Pfizer and BioNTech submission and provided their own recommendations to the FDA related to the data concerning the safety and effectiveness of the product. The committee overwhelmingly agreed that the vaccine's benefits outweighs its risks. We've also made clear through two guidance documents the information a developer should provide to us for their COVID-19 vaccine, helping Americans understand exactly what data we would be looking at during our review process. Additionally, yesterday, we have also posted important information to, health, to help healthcare providers understand the benefits, risks, and proper use of this FDA authorized vaccine, including fact sheets for healthcare providers and vaccine recipients, 
instructions for use, the letter of authorization to the requester, which spells out the conditions under which the use of the product is authorized. We also intend to post the decision memorandum, which outlines the basis of our decision. All of this information helps the public understand the importance of our thorough and diligent review of the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine. It provides the necessary information to healthcare providers to understand if there are reasons certain people should not take the vaccine, such as a history of allergic, vaccine, allergic reaction to any of the vaccine ingredients. Our transparency is arming healthcare providers with the tools they need to make decisions about what is appropriate for their patients. This transparency should also help assure the public that this vaccine met the FDA's rigorous standards for quality, safety, and efficacy. Science and data guided the FDA's decision. We worked quickly based on the urgency of this pandemic, not because of any other external pressure. This decision was based on the strongest scientific integrity, and I am so proud of the work that our career scientists have done.